terrific lyric. Mike Turner, I I'm in the business back in Toronto. Uh, maybe we can get together after the war. Gary don't need a leg up, mate. Hollywood. Hollywood. No kidding. <laughs> but, uh, what have you worked on? Oh, uh, nothing you'd have heard of. Try me, pal. I I've seen them all. Well, there was The Godfather, Reservoir Dogs, and then, of course, there was Train Spotting. You're right. I haven't heard of them. <laughs> train Spotting? What in hell is that about? Blokes in anorak standing on bridges. <laughs> that sure sounds like a box office bonanza. Hey, hey, Phoebe, honey, give this piano player a drink, will you? You guys ever hear a train spot? <laughs> Phoebe, honey? They're just being friendly, Gary. It's their way. Besides, who'd make eyes at me in my condition? I would. I will, later. I've told you, no malarkey. Phoebe... No, look. If you had made a nest in a chimney, would you be glad to see the sweep? <laughs> You're a lucky man, Gary. Well, so are you, Rich. Yeah. I'm a bit worried about this living in sin lark, though. As a representative for law and order, like, but there's a lot to be said for it. Oh, really? And why is that, Reg? Last thing at night and first thing in the morning. <laughs> Cup of tea? And a slice of bread and drip. <laughs> yeah, I'm really looking forward to your stag night. What stag night? Ooh, a right old time we'll have of it. <laughs> <laughs> Coco in bed. What could be nicer? I never said you couldn't take your things off. No, it's all right. It will be the same, won't it, Gary? After we're married. I well, bloody hope not. No. I mean, we'll still be romantic with each other. Of course we will. Last thing at night and first thing in the morning. <laughs> you won't, <don't. laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Sparrow, and Michael Sparrow. Hmm, if it's a boy. I hadn't thought about a girl's name. Well, if not Michael, how about Michelle? It's French, isn't it? A bit outlandish. It's pretty, though. Michelle, ma belle, c'est <laughs> qui vont très bien ensemble, très bien ensemble. How do you do it? Just come up with them, and in French, too. Talent. Just raw talent. <laughs> it's a boy. I don't know how I know, but I do. Margie's making a three-tier cake. Bride and groom on top, silver horseshoes, little pillars, you know. All made out of cotton wool and cardboard. Sounds chewy. <laughs> About the ring. What? Well, a lot of girls are making do with the curtain ring, you know. Till times are a little easier. No, you listen to me. It will be the best. The best I can find. Loads of carrots. And our names engraved inside. How about that? Our names engraved? Oh, Gary. Can it say forever? Of course it can. Forever and, and two hearts entwined. Whatever you want. Blake in the pub gave me this. Canadian flyer. Well, he's in show business in Civvy Street. Producer and impresario. What did he give you this for? I was singing in the pub. I was singing Love Me Do. You know, it's all very well you impressing war-torn London with the contents of the Lennon and McCartney songbook. But there are items from later in the 20th century which would benefit them rather more. Oh, what would you suggest? A couple of Harrier jump jets would probably do a turn. <laughs> what is it? I'm compiling a list of likely employment. I'm going to get everything I can out of the business before Stella's lawyers dig the shovels in. Then I shall invest in a new life. I've got to the P's. Personal finance advisor, pornographer, president of UEFA. This artist? Yes, but it's a fallback position. <laughs> Ron, you can't give up the print works. I need you. I need updated ration books, MI5 identity papers, white fivers. I've got a wedding breakfast to pay for it. Ron, what am I doing? Tomorrow, I will have two wives 54 years apart. And then in a couple of months, I'm going to have a kid just about old enough to be my father. <laughs> in the meantime, my life is governed by deceit and ironclad schedules. Th this is madness. It's last night nerves, old son. 
Though in your case, I will admit it is slightly odd, as the nervous night is taking place some five decades after the happy day. <laughs> Which is why I won't be there. However, I have organised a stag night. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I was... Woof! What is that sickly niff? Hello, Gary. I'm not quite back yet. And where have you been? I have travelled through space and time, Gary. Oh, yeah. Piece of cake. To a place of great tranquility. I have seen a vision. Oof. Well, I can hardly wait. A vision of quids rolling into our bank account. That sickly niff, as you so charmlessly put it, is the perfume from Healing Oils. Naturopath's answer to health and happiness, along with acupuncture, herbalism, homeopathy, reflexology... Balls. To... No. <laughs> feet, Gary. Reflexology is feet. You'd have to pay considerably more if it were balls. <laughs> However, people do pay, and they pay willingly, because it works. You may scoff, but it does. What, needles and foot massage? You see, the problem with most practitioners of alternative therapies is that they're dozy. No kidding. They need organising. They need to rationalise their working methods. They need to maximise their profits. They need you. Exactly. Do you know, more and more people are becoming more and more aware about alternative medicine, but they don't know enough about it or where to find it. Imagine, Gary, a business that has a terrific profit potential but is actually a force for good in the world. You should try it. You won't be so tired all the time. <laughs> Take more than foot massage to get to the source of my fatigue, eh? Take your shoes off. What? Go on, I learnt a lot on my holistic weekend. Up here. Right. The principle is that areas of the foot correspond to points on the body, organs, nerve sites and so on. You should feel something within the region of your sinuses. <laughs> well, yeah, something. And now somewhere around your abdomen, perhaps? Yeah, right. And now... Ho, 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 ho! was that? You see, reflexology reaches the parts some other therapists don't even approach. Cup <laughs> of tea? I think a cigarette's more traditional, isn't it? <laughs> And no, you can't do it to yourself. You know what I'm going to do when this is all over? Do what you did. Go to Hollywood. Maybe you could give me a few contacts. Uh, yeah, right. No problem. Yeah, right. No problem. You sure spent time in Hollywood. You even talk American. Yeah, and dresses like a civilian. Yeah, there's no call for that. Gary's doing his bit. I figured that out. All right, you Oi, 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 oi. I want you at the altar tomorrow, not in a hospital bed. No chance of that. Mm. My hero. Mm. Mm. Oh, get me! <laughs> you look wonderful. If you weren't already spoken for, I'd marry you myself. No second thoughts then, Gary. Of course not. It's a big step. You can only have one wife. <laughs> and that's me. The future Mrs. Sparrow. I'm so happy, Gary. Come on, Phoebe. Come on, come on. I thought we were supposed to be having a party. We're off to the King's Head. It'd be a treat to have a drink in someone else's pub. <laughs> have a good time. You too. Don't get into trouble. So, he says. Western Superman. I wouldn't go there for me all of this. And the other bloke says, no, why not? And he says, it's, it's so boring in Western Superman that one day the tide went out. <laughs> she got it. <laughs> Western Superman is so boring, even the tide went out. <laughs> oh, well, that's not it. <laughs> I've got it, I've got it. He says, he says, one day the tide went out. No, hang about, I just said that, didn't I? One day the tide went out and never came back. That's it! It went out and never came back! <laughs> That's a good one, isn't it? <laughs> went out and never come back. <laughs> Rage, I'm going to have to go. 
Um, well, back to the office, you know, we've got a bit of a flap on. What, on your stag night? They never let you rest, do they? Still, I understand, policemen's never off duty either. I'll keep the flag flying, son, never you fear. <laughs> <laughs> voice does sound slightly muffled, but I don't think you have joined the choir Invisible Yvonne, because when that last needle came out, I distinctly saw your buttocks clench. This is Mailing, yeah. and this is Marcus. Yeah. Mailing is still thinking about it, but Marcus is definitely going to let me handle him. Well, that's fair. He's business. Oh, Gary, I feel boastful. Get up on here after me and let Marcus and Mailing give you a session. You feel the stress and tiredness flowing out of you like... Like, like the tide going out and never coming back? That's very good. Very poetic. Are you sat in the brochure? Yes, well, much as I'd love Marcus to give me an oil change, while Mailing goes for double top, I've got to get round to Ron's. I promised. We're going to have a few cans and a vintage video, you know. They think it's all over. <laughs> well, he's feeling a bit sorry for himself, you know. I think it's because he's living alone. He really has got the mopes. And so the pagan ceremony of stag begins, when we must cast aside all inhibitions, all the trappings of civilised behaviour, and offer vast libations of lager to the great goddess Nookie. <laughs> it's just the two of us, isn't it? I mean, look at all this stuff. Ritual, Gary, the sacred tradition of stag. Lager, scotch, tequila, choice of blue movie, and the 1966 World Cup final. Thank you for remembering your small contribution, which was originally mine anyway. <laughs> the only break with tradition is the lack of inflated condoms and a salmonella kebab. What tradition? It wasn't written into the Magna Carta, you know. Mm, I suppose the fact that you happen to be married does break with tradition to a degree. Two wives. Oh, no, 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 I don't think so. Well, it does have its compensations, you know. All right, not just at the moment, perhaps. You mean sex? Nah. Married sex. Bit like a job of work, isn't it? Sign in, check your tools, do your shift, watch the clock. No, thank you. <laughs> when it comes to sex, I am happy to be freelance. You don't mean freelance, you mean self-employed. <laughs> so, later on, it's back to the 40s, return tomorrow night, a certified bigamist. Well, not quite. Got to get through the stag night at the Royal Oak first, then back to the 90s, because I've got to pick up the ring first thing in the morning. You forgot the ring? No, I didn't. I promised Phoebe 22 carats with two names and two hearts. And that takes two days. Obviously, you can't get it done in the 40s. It doesn't matter, though. I mean, the wedding's not till 12.30. So, your schedule, in a nutshell, is stag parties at different ends of the century, wake up with Yvonne, rush out, collect the ring, zip through the time warp, slip the ring on Phoebe's finger, followed by a wedding breakfast and then a fake MI5 alert and wake up next to Yvonne. I'm surprised you don't use a colour-coded flowchart. <laughs> Where are the ladies in question tonight? Phoebe's on a pub crawl and Yvonne's being pummeled and pricked. Oh, well, I'm glad everybody's having a good time. <laughs> Take your shoe off and put your foot on the table. What? <laughs> Have you joined the Freemasons? I just do it. Right? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, good God! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Yvonne showed me. It's, uh... <laughs> Reflex... reflexology. Really? <laughs> Would you like a drink? No, I'd better go. Gary! <laughs> it was nothing. No one need ever know. What you were doing? Let's pretend it never happened. <laughs> well, no, no it's, 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 it's not that. It's not that. It's because um, Reg is organising a stag for me as well. So. All right. Yeah. One for the road then. One for the road back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah why not? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Gary, can you uh... do it yourself now? No. <laughs> hey, it's the beaming bridegroom. Have one on us, Gary. Thanks. Scotch, Reg. Make it a double. Cold feet. Now listen to the voice of experience. You've got a good woman in, Phoebe. 
you will, you will come home off night duty or a bit of fire watching and find your side of the bed already warm. You wouldn't get her trying to make out that the bloke you met on the stairs had lost his way in the blackout. <laughs> Still, <clears throat> enough of that. That's all in the past. It's your stag night. Drink up. Yeah, scotch, Reg, and make it a double. Cold feet. <laughs> now you listen to the voice of experience. So, so the other book says, it's so boring that one day the tide went out and never came back. <laughs> That's the oldest joke in the world. That is the worst oldest joke in the world. Oh, you tell Reg Denman that, then. Oh, there's somebody at the door. <laughs> Phoebe asked me to call round. She wants me to show you something. Phoebe? What? This. <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> 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 oh, God, she <laughs> I get this trouble a lot. Would you want the rest? I'm fully paid for. Well, I would, but I've got to go. Well, I thought he said this was a stag do. Yeah, it is. And that's why I'm going to get an early night. As you were. Well, perhaps not. <laughs> Hmm. They're all bloody new men these days. How am I supposed to earn a living? <laughs> Come on, boys, let's have a sing song. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm going to call it a night. Oh, oh. No stamina, eh? Some bridegroom you'll turn out to be. No stamina and no uniform. Come on, let's hear it. What's your excuse, buddy? Hey, you can serve your country without being in uniform, you know. Yeah. Behind a desk. Can't fight. Can't drink. Can't drink? I could drink you under the bloody table, mate. Oh, oh, hey. Hey. Wait, free bomb. Take it steady, Gary, lad. Oh, don't you worry, Rose. This won't take long. Ready? Oh, come on, Joe. We don't just sit behind desks, you know. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. no. Reconnaissance? Aerial photos? Dropped behind enemy lines? It's very secret. Sure sounds like daredevil stuff. Well, it is. Yep, I really admire you guys in the Secret Service. Me too. Bulldog breed. Yeah. Woof, woof. <laughs> uh, the few. That's who we are, mate. We are the few. The few. <laughs> and I'll tell you something. There's thousands of us. <laughs> we just don't make a big song or dance about it. Song or dance. Good idea. Me up my for Brian. Me up my for Brian. And, and you talk about flying. Crap. I've done flying, mate. Flack to the left of me. Flack to the right of me. And I just laughed. Flack you, Fritz. I thought. Come 
coming in on a wing and a prayer. Come on, dear. Pancake landing. I've been there. I've done all that. I'd be proud to have you in my air crew, pal. That's for sure. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, my. <laughs> Secret service. That's what we are. Oh. <laughs> See. To our boys in Mufti. Oh. I'm gonna have a little sit on the floor. <laughs> God, I feel terrible. No kidding. Ugh. Ooh, I've got this terrible droning in my skull. Ugh. It's like I'm in some old crock of a plane. Sure is an old crock. And here's a bigger problem. We've had our landing gear and part of the tailplane shot away. And what's going on? Where? Lancaster bomber kind of shot up over the English Channel. Uh, what's going on? I'm deciding whether to ditch it into the sea. What? Now, I seem to recall you telling me you've done your share of flying, yeah? So, I guess you know how to use a parachute. No! Yeah, well, it doesn't matter much. Because we don't have one for you. Well, come on! Borrow someone else's? Uh, navigator and rear gun are already bailed out, and we don't bring a co-pilot on these. Fact is, I took off with only half a crew aboard. For some reason, it's tough to find guys who'll fly with me. I can't figure it out. <laughs> You're Gary, right? Plane! Plane! Going down! Falling! I'm Steve. <laughs> but most of the guys call me Crazy Horse. Oh, no, I. Beats me. <laughs> well, what am I doing here? Well, it was just a routine bombing raid. Like your English girls say, drop them and run. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun ending to your stag night. Bring back old memories, you know? Reconnaissance, all those secret sorties you made. <laughs> we caught some heavy flack, though. Didn't expect that. Hey, I'll bet you'll remember this night. Something to tell your new wife about, eh? Huh? Yeah. If we make it. <laughs> is, is, is there anything I can do to help? Anything at all? Kiss that. What is it? Rabbit's foot. <laughs> So, choices. You can use my chute or stick with me in the plane. Well, it looks kind of chilly down there. And wet. I think I'll stay inside. Well, can't you just fly it back to the airport thingy? No chance. Let's ditch our crash. <laughs> I'm dreaming. <laughs> Don't, I'm dreaming this. <laughs> oh, I should never mix my drinks. <laughs> well, this is going to be a lesson for me in the future. <laughs> oh, I bet I feel terrible when I wake up. <laughs> What's that? OK, here we go. <laughs> Death or glory! <laughs> Mayday signal you sent. Do you think anyone heard that? Who knows? Well, aren't we supposed to have flares or something? Sure. Only problem is we're closer to France and New England, and the tide's taking us further in. Use the flares, anyone could pick us up. 
The Germans. Good guess. A prisoner of war. No, I can't. I can't, I, I can't be a prisoner of war. I haven't got the inner resources for it. Well, first thing, Gar, you're paddling the wrong way. Second thing, they won't make you a prisoner of war. You're in civvies. They'll assume you're a spy. <laughs> They'll shoot me. No, 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 not, not, not right away. No, a bit of torture is traditional. You know, wringing the secrets from the mangled flesh. <laughs> then they shoot you. Well, they mustn't. No, they mustn't shoot me. I haven't been born yet. <laughs> but I mean, well, there's still a chance, isn't there? I mean, of us getting rescued. Fifty-fifty, I'd say. It all depends on whether that's one of ours. What? What? What's one of ours? That. If I was to tell you what's just happened to me... <laughs> if I was to tell you what's going to happen to me later on today... <laughs> oh, I'm never going to drink again. I'm never going to fly again. And I'm never going to get married again. <sighs> married. I'm getting married. Sit me in Time to get up, Gary. Haven't you got to get to the shop? I have had the best sleep of my life. You may sneer. Holistic therapy is the way forward. It's a new start. It's just what we need, like, like being married for the first time. Gary? Gary? I've got to go. I'm seeing two masseurs and a man with wooden balls. <laughs> Aren't you? You've been so tired lately. Let's switch this off, shall we? Let you sleep. Well, it's not as if you've got anything special on today. <laughs> Good night, sweetheart. You know, more and more people are becoming more and more aware about alternative medicine, but they don't know enough about it or where to find it. Imagine, Gary, a business that has a terrific profit potential, but is actually a force for good in the world. You should try. You won't be so tired all the time. <laughs> Take more than foot massage to get to the source of my fatigue, eh? <laughs> Take your shoe and sock off. What? Go on. I learnt a lot on my holistic weekend. Up here. Right. The principle is that areas of the foot correspond to points on the body, organs, nerve sites and so on. You should feel something within the region of your sinuses. <laughs> well, yeah, something. And now somewhere around your abdomen, perhaps? Yeah, right. And now... Ho, 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 ho! What was that? You see? Reflexology reaches the parts some other therapists don't even approach. Cup <laughs> of tea. I think a cigarette's more traditional, isn't it? <laughs> and no, you can't do it yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do when this is all over? Do what you did. Go to Hollywood. Maybe you can give me a few contacts. Uh, yeah, right. The guys will fly with me. I can't figure it out. 
You're Gary, right? Blaine! Blaine! Going back! Falling! Get my driving! <laughs> Good to know you, Gaff. I'm Steve. <sighs> but most of the guys call me Crazy Horse. I wonder why. Beats me. What am I doing here? Well, it was just a routine bombing raid. Like your English girls say, drop them and run. <laughs> it's gotta be a fun ending to your stag night. Bring back old memories, you know? Reconnaissance, all those secret sorties you made. We caught some heavy flack, though. Didn't expect that. Hey, I'll bet you'll remember this night. Something to tell your new wife about, eh? Huh? Yeah. If we make it. <laughs> is, is, is there anything I can do to help? Anything at all? Kiss that. What is it? Rabbit's foot. <laughs> <laughs> so, choices. You can use my chute or stick with me in the plane. Well, it looks good. So, I guess you know how to use a parachute. No! Yeah, well, it doesn't matter much. Because we don't have one for you. Well, can't I borrow someone else's? Uh, navigator and rear gun are already bailed out, and we don't bring a co-pilot on these. Fact is, I took off with only half a crew aboard. For some reason, it's tough to find guys who'll fly with me. I can't figure it out. <laughs> You're Gary, right? Blaine! Blaine! Going back! Falling! <laughs> I'm Steve. <sighs> but most of the guys call me Crazy Horse. I wonder why. Beats me. <laughs> well, what am I doing here? Well, it was just a routine bombing raid. Like your English girls say, drop them and run. <laughs> it's gotta be a fun ending to your stag night. Bring back old memories, you know? Reconnaissance, all those secret sorties you made. We caught some heavy flack, though. Didn't expect that. Hey, I'll bet you'll remember this night. Something to tell your new wife about, eh? Huh. Yeah. If we make it. Give this piano player a drink, will you? You guys ever hear a train spot? <laughs> Phoebe, honey? They're just being friendly, Gary. It's their way. Besides, who'd make eyes at me in my condition? I would. I will, later. I've told you, no malarkey. Phoebe... No, look. If you had made a nest in a chimney, would you be glad to see the sweep? <laughs> You're a lucky man, Gary. Well, so are you, Red. Yeah. I'm a bit worried about this living in sin lark, though. As a representative for law and order, like, but there's a lot to be said for it. Oh, really? And why is that, Reg? Last thing at night and first thing in the morning. <laughs> Cup of tea? And a slice of bread and drip. <laughs> yeah, I'm really looking forward to your stag night. What stag night? Ooh, a right old time we'll have of it. <laughs> <laughs> Coco in bed. What could be nicer? I never said you couldn't take your things off. No, it's all right. It will be the same, won't it, Gary? After we're married. I bloody hope not. No. I mean, we'll still be romantic with each other. Of course we will. Last thing at night and first thing in the morning. <laughs> Ready? Don't just sit behind desks, you know. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. No. Reconnaissance? Aerial photos? Dropped behind enemy lines? It's very secret. 
Sure sounds like daredevil stuff. Well, it is. Yep, I really admire you guys in the Secret Service. Me too. Bulldog breed. Yeah. Woof, woof. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the few. That's who we are, mate. We are the few. The few. <laughs> and I'll tell you something. There's thousands of us. <laughs> we just don't make a big song and dance about it. Song and dance. Good idea. Me something up for Brian. Me something up for Brian. Hello, dearie. And, and you talk about flying. I've done flying, mate. Flack to the left of me. Flack to the right of me. And I just laughed. <laughs> Flack you, Fritz, I thought. Take it steady, Gary, lad. Oh, don't you worry, Rose. This won't take long. Ready? Don't just sit behind desks, you know. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. no. Reconnaissance. Aerial photos dropped behind enemy lines. It's very secret. Sure sounds like daredevil stuff. Well, it is. Yep, I really admire you guys in the Secret Service. Me too. Bulldog breed. Yeah. Woof, woof. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the few. That's who we are, mate. We are the few. The few. <laughs> and I'll tell you something. There's thousands of us. <laughs> we just don't make a big song and dance about it. Song and dance. Good idea. Me something up for Brian. Me something up for Brian. Hello, dearie. And, and down, you talk about down, flying. Crap. I've done flying, down, mate. Flack to the left of me. Flack. I have seen a vision. Ooh, well, I can hardly wait. A vision of quids rolling into our bank account. That sickly nip, as you so charmlessly put it, is the perfume from Healing Oils. Naturopath's answer to health and happiness, along with acupuncture, herbalism, homeopathy, reflexology... Balls. To... No. <laughs> feet, Gary. Reflexology is feet. You'd have to pay considerably more if it were balls. <laughs> However, people do pay, and they pay willingly, because it works. You may scoff, but it does. What, needles and foot massage? You see, the problem with most practitioners of alternative therapies is that they're dozy. No kidding. They need organising. They need to rationalise their working methods. They need to maximise their profits. They need you. Exactly. Do you know, more and more people are becoming more and more aware about alternative medicine, but they don't know enough about it or where to find it. Imagine, Gary, a business that has a terrific profit potential but is actually a force for good in the world. You should try. You won't be so tired all the time. <laughs> Take more than foot massage to get to the source of my fatigue, eh? Take your shoe and off. What? Go on, I learnt a lot on my holistic weekend. Up here. Right. The principle is that areas of the foot correspond to points on the body, organs, nerve sites and so on. You should feel something within the region of your... <laughs> I'm dreaming. <laughs> Don't... I'm dreaming this. <laughs> Oh, I should never mix my drinks. <laughs> well, this is going to be a lesson for me in the future. <laughs> oh, I bet I feel terrible when I wake up. <laughs> What's that? OK, here we go. <laughs> Death or glory! <laughs> Mayday signal you sent. Do you think anyone heard that? Who knows? Well, aren't we supposed to have flares or something? Sure. Only problem is we're closer to France and New England, and the tide's taking us further in. Use the flares, anyone could pick us up. The Germans? Good guess. 
A prisoner of war? No, I can't. I can't, I, I can't be a prisoner of war. I haven't got the inner resources for it. Well, first thing, Gar, you're paddling the wrong way. Second thing, they won't make you a prisoner of war. You're in civvies. They'll assume you're a spy. <laughs> They'll shoot me? No, 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 not, not, not right away, no. Bit of torture is traditional. 